I know, last week I already spoke about Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, but today it will be from a whole different angle. As it is the start of May, we remember and celebrate the victory over Nazi Germany in World War II. And without his intentions, obviously, and rather coincidentally, Beethoven played a very important role in the propaganda campaign that inspired the people to resist and overcome the occupier. This is London Calling in episode 18 of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. B for victory. In the alphabet for deaf people, this is the sign for the letter B. The letter V is spelled like this, which we all recognize as the international symbol for peace. It was made famous by Winston Churchill during the Second World War, but actually the V stands for victory. V for victory. It was an idea by a radio presenter from Belgium during the Second World War called Victor de la Velay. The BBC in the United Kingdom provided for radio broadcasts in more than 45 languages and for Belgium, Victor de la Vallée presented in French. He had seen people paint the letters RAF on buildings as an act of resistance, RAF standing for Royal Air Force, and that annoyed the Germans a lot. But it also led to many arrests. So during a broadcast on January 14th, 1941, Victor de la Vallée introduced the idea of the letter V. Um, easier to paint, faster to paint in two strokes, and also representing the word victory. Votre résistance là-bas en Belgique, que le monde suit avec émotion. Ainsi vous gagnez chaque jour une silencieuse bataille. De la Vallée's idea became the international symbol of resistance and was used in many different ways. As it happened to be, the Morse code for the letter V is short, 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 long. Morse code being a very important way to communicate, of course, during the war. And short, 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 long, dot, 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 dash, is of course the opening of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. <laughs> The BBC decided to use it as a radio signal during broadcasts and they recorded it uh, in different ways with different instruments, first with brass instruments, then woodwinds, then strings, but that proved all to be unsatisfactory. At last they tried timpanis and uh, that had the desired result. This is Colonel Britain speaking. All over Europe the V sign is seen by the Germans and it's beginning to play on their nerves. They see it chalked on the pavements, penciled on posters, scratched on the mudguards of German cars. Men salute each other with a V sign separating their fingers. Now there's a V sound, the sign and rhythm of a great European army which will one day sweep the Germans away like straws in a flood. It's really accidental that we can see Beethoven's Fifth Symphony as a symphony for victory, a symphony for freedom. It's what we project onto that music, but that's at the same time the beauty of music. When used in a good way, it can be a vehicle to send a very strong message. But there are a few other things that beautifully connect Beethoven to the power of this audio symbol. In Roman numerals, the figure 5 is spelled as the letter V, Beethoven's Fifth. And as I told you last week, the symphony has as title the Fate Symphony. Beethoven would have said, but never did, that the first four notes are like fate knocking at the door. So by using this rhythmical motive in many different ways, whether it was on the radio, whether it was to call a waiter, whether it was to silence a classroom as a teacher, it was as if was said, fate is knocking at the door, you Germans, and fate will come at you and we will be victorious.
Now, what would Beethoven have thought of this? I think he would have loved it, because in himself, Beethoven was a symbol of resistance to dictatorship. In 1804, he turned his back to Napoleon, when Napoleon crowned himself the Emperor of the French. Beethoven hated it. But that's something for another episode of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. Enjoyed this one? Like it, share it, comment on it, subscribe to my social media channels. And remember those famous unspoken words by Winston Churchill. The arts are needed in a crisis. What else do we have to fight for? Peace out. What does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah, what does it mean?